So, Two of Wands is surrounding your entire reading. The Two of Wands, this is all about looking out over the world. See, the, there's the world right there. With a staff of fresh starts and new beginnings. And it's like dreaming about what it's going to look like, okay? What it's going to feel like. You might be thinking of making a change in your life. So this surrounds the entire reading. We're going to find out why. And then up here in your highest energy is the Four of Pentacles. Oh, you have things you don't want to give up. That's for sure. You're hanging on the Four of Pentacles very tightly. It, it feels like you've worked very hard to where you've got to get to where you've got so far in your life and you're not willing to sacrifice anything that you've worked so hard for yet you still want to move forward you still want a fresh start new beginning and you want to take all your pentacles with you don't blame you there so next to the four of pentacles is the page of cups now the page of cups can be an apology coming in uh, it can be a young uh, love offer um, this could be all you have to offer as far as love goes right now. I need to keep reading this reading. It's next to the four of pentacles, hanging on to those pentacles that you have secured, and also dreaming about moving forward in your future. Um, I'm kind of feeling like this is your energy as far as holding on to that cup of love. It's like you have this cup of love. But I don't know that you have anyone to hand it to you to right here in this reading. Uh, so that might be what we're talking about that might be in your future. I have the Justice card next to the Page of Cups. This is the card for Libra. There you are. So um, you're holding a uh, staff. Of, well, this, this one does not have the staff. But this one is, you got your blindfold on for blind justice. You have the sword in front of you for protection. You're seeking that truth. You're seeking that clarity. And um, so you're trying to stay balanced. You see how balanced this is? It's equal balance on each side of that sword, which is hanging in her hands. So um, self-justice, you want to be rebalanced. See the scales here? And... Um, let me show that again because these are new cards to a lot of you. Those are scales actually hanging there. So you are becoming more balanced. You're becoming ready, I believe, to move forward. And you just want to take everything that you've worked for so, for so hard uh, with you and just enter a place of a fresh start and new beginning. I have the Two of Pentacles under the Four of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles, it is about the Pentacles, the security, the stability. I feel like you've been kind of like on a roller coaster ride. Like you've had your highs, you've had your, had your lows. It's like ups and downs about uh, how to move forward. I mean, I think you really do want to move forward, but you're not quite sure how to do that. So you're playing with a lot of different ideas in your mind right now. You're not giving up your Pentacles, though. I have the Queen of Swords on the other side, the Two of Wands. There's another card for Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This is very strong Libra energy. So Libra, there you are. You're holding the sword out, seeking that truth, speaking your truth, uh, being self-protectant, just like with the Justice card here. But uh, you're very, um, like, you're not settling. You're, you're kind of like demanding, like, uh, you know what you want. You become balanced. You're a very balanced and grounded person here. You want to move forward, but you're confused about how to do that. And you do have a cup of love to give, but you're unwilling to hand it out until that right person comes along. And you're going to make sure that they are the right person by asking the right questions and speaking your truth to see how they react. I have the Three of Pentacles under the Two of Pentacles. Well, this is a card of butting heads about how to move forward. Um, you know, I feel like everybody's got an, an idea here. Um, you, this might be just in your mind. You might have like thoughts that you think are great and then you wake up the next day and you're like, hmm, I don't know, let's, let's try to think of another way to move forward. You have four pentacles, two pentacles, three pentacles. So the, it is a lot about uh, security, stability, and groundedness going on here. Perhaps you do need to collaborate with someone. 
Uh, perhaps there is a friend who can help you see what it is and see your path forward here because you really are looking for your path forward. I have the Six of Swords next to the Three of Pentacles and right under the Two of Wands. So this is moving away from rocky waters, moving towards smoother, calmer, more peaceful place in your life. That's what you want. This is where you want to go, okay? This is where you want to find the love of your life. And the more swords you pick up and put on that boat, the further you can get across that water to where you want to go, wherever that might be. I just, I really feel like there's people here who want to help you. It's almost like going to a seminar or something. It's like, it feels like going someplace where people have ideas about how to invest your money, um, how to make the most of what you have. And I feel like some of you are involved in um, trying to do that and stay balanced and become your full self. I have the Three of Wands next to the Six of Swords and under the Queen of Swords. So the Three of Wands, again, is holding on to that staff of fresh starts and new beginnings with one hand, looking out over the world, and you're looking for your ship. Now, this reading, might it does have a lot to do with security and stability. So it might be about work. It might be about love. Um, so far, I don't see very much about love, except that you're, you're just not willing to hand it out at the moment. Okay, you're not, there's nobody to hand it out to. But there's ships out there, and you're kind of wondering if your ship is out there. You want to move in that direction. So I feel like... This is where you're going. The more swords you collect, the further you can get. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you what's coming out now. Oh, my goodness. You're protecting your pentacles so much. It's like someone tried to take them away before. You worked really hard to get them. And you're, you're, you're like, you're, you're not, you're not going to take care of anyone. They better have their own pentacles. I can see that. But I do have the lovers right next to the justice card. And so if I can hang on to that, the lovers here. This is the card for Gemini. Gemini might be strong in your chart or someone else is around this reading. But this is about a very special, strong connection soulmate. Might have been lovers in another lifetime. But someone, I think, is coming in for you. So you've got this cup of love. You're hanging on to it. And if you look at the face on the page of cups, it's like you know you got it, but you but you look dumbfounded. You look like, well, what do I do with it? You know, <laughs> I got it. What do I do with it? Well, later on, it looks like there is someone coming in. So whatever direction you choose to move um, is you're moving towards a very strong soulmate. And you're going to seek the truth and clarity and speak your truth and clarity and remain balanced when the soulmate enters your life. Now, they might have Gemini in their chart, maybe. Uh, it's the energies that matter most. They might have Aquarius in their chart. I have the star right next to the lovers, the, the card for Aquarius. So the star, uh, this is deep healing here. You've been through a lot of deep healing. This is why you're ready for a change. This is what you've become rebalanced over. So um, I think you had focused on your own security and stability. I think you're ready for a partner in life now. And I think that's the change that you want to make. That's where you want to head is towards someone that you can share your life with. This is so spiritual. It's like seeing your own reflection in that pool of water and remembering the bare essence of who you are, what you want, what you don't want. Very deep healing. So I, I feel like... It's because of the healing. It's because of the becoming very, very uh, rebalanced and becoming yourself again. Having your sword out and, and asking the right questions is, is really good advice. And uh, I, whether or not it's advice, you're going to do it. But I have the lovers here, and that is a very strong soulmate. Maybe this is what you're feeling, is they're still out there. Your ship is still out there, but they're coming in. I have the Nine of Wands next to the star. You had to go through something very heavy in your life. 
So it's like with this Nine of Wands here, they're holding the staff of fresh starts and new beginnings. And look at all those staffs around them. It's like they're guarding them. They know that they have them back there. But you don't want to spend your whole life guarding all these fresh starts and new beginnings. Uh, just having memories. Uh, you want to move forward into real life. So the Nine of Wands is really being up in your head about moving forward. Um, you're pretty guarded. And um, that's just the way it is. And, you know, you've, you've had the opportunities that haven't panned out. I have the Nine of Pentacles right under the Lovers and next to the Queen of Swords. This is who you are and this is who you're becoming again, once again. The Nine of Pentacles, very self-assured, very grounded, very um, secure and stable. You built your own pentacles, like I just see going down this line here. And you're not going to accept anybody coming into your life that, that you're going to have to take care of financially. No. They better have their own pentacles. And it, with this card, the Nine of Pentacles being next to the Queen of Swords and under the Lovers, I feel like whoever's coming in does have their own pentacles. And that's why this card is here. And this is what you're looking for. This is what you're speaking of. I have the Eight of Cups. Right next to the Nine of Pentacles and under the star. So yeah, you had to heal from um, a walking away. There was a realization in a past relationship. Something was revealed. and Because the moon's here. And um, you had to turn your back on a previous love. And that was hard to get over. But you did. And you're rebalanced now. And you're ready to move forward. I have the Emperor next to the Eight of Cups and under the Nine of Wands. This is the card for Aries. Aries might be strong in someone's chart around this reading. But this tells me that you're going to be very true to yourself. You you know what you want now. You know what you don't want. And you're just not going to settle. Uh, you're going to be stubborn about it. Um, you're very well liked and respected by others. And you might even be a leader in your profession with the emperor here. You probably are a leader in your profession. You might even have some options as far as making a move in your career. You know, moving to a different place or just making a move, you know, in within your career. But you also have love on your mind. You're ready for someone to share your pentacles with. I have the Ace of Cups under the Nine of Pentacles and next to the Three of Wands. Your ship. Is your ship out there? Um... I have the Ace of Wands. This tells me there's an Ace of, I mean, not Wands, of Cups that is on one of those ships. The Nine of Pentacles, just like I said, you have all those Pentacles that you want to share with someone. But not just the Pentacles, not the, just the security and stability. You want to share your heart. You want to be able to hand out that cup of love that the Page of Cups is hanging on to here. And uh, want it returned back to you. You want a sh to share love with someone. And looky here, oh my gosh. So, you know, when you walk away from something, you're actually walking towards something. In this case, it's the moon. You really don't know what's in front of you until it's revealed. Um, I have the Hierophant right next to the Ace of Cups. This is going to lead to a very grounded, stable, and secure relationship. Maybe even marriage. This is a very spiritual card. This is the card for um, Taurus. So Taurus might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. But this is where you're headed. Oh my gosh. This is, you know, this could be whoever's coming in could have Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Aries. I mean, it, it could be any sign because it's the energies that really um, uh, mean the most in these tarot readings. Look, and I have the Nine of Cups next to the Hierophant and under the Emperor. You know you have a lot of love to offer. You know it. Okay? All these cards are male or female. Um, and so, but you're not handing them out. So, just like with the Page of Cups, you know you have the love, but there's no one to hand them out to. But when this person comes in, you're going to be able to hand out that love. And look at where it falls. Actually, the Emperor uh, touches this nine of cups and the nine of cups is right next to the hierophant and then there's the ace of cups so this tells me that you're going to be able instead of just hanging on to all that love your ship is out there so you're moving in the right direction in order to hang on to your pentacles and have love too 
Oh my gosh. Let's see what the guardian angels and spirit guides have to say about this reading. You've already gone through all that healing. You don't want to heal again. Not like that. That was hard. That was very difficult uh, to get rebalanced from. And we know Libras, you're just not happy unless you're balanced. Very important for Libras. Okay, let's take out your card there. It's the two of action. So let me read this to you. Trust in your ability to make excellent choices. There's opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or creative endeavors. So yeah, I do feel like this reading is part career and part love. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. Keep your eyes on the big picture, the big goal, rather than the tiny little goals that make the big goal so you don't get lost in the little tiny goals. 